welcome to techno learning in this video i'm gonna tell you how to implement google ad mobs interstitial ads in an android app so first of all let me open the android studio and now i'm on the google ad mob site and i will have to add a new app here then i will have to choose the platform and as well as like android and then the app store is not supported right now so then continue here i have to give the name of the app so i will be giving the name as sample app 2 okay then i will click on add app okay so now i have to create add units so click on it and then i have to choose interstitial the second one so select it and after selecting it you have to enter the add unit name you can choose the name as per your choice okay then create this and here you have these ids so now i am making the sample project within the android studio choosing the empty activity and make sure the name is correct like sample app 2 and then next okay so gradle is building and now i have to go to within the instructions of including mobile ads sdk okay so first of all the second one app label build gradle this dependency will be added so i'm gonna add this within this module label file and then come here and after coming here you have to just paste it okay so i pasted it and then what i have to do is to go back and then scroll a little so here i have to update the manifest file also so what i'm gonna do is to copy this whole thing including the sample app id that is test id and then go back to android studio and within the manifest you will be seeing this manifest file and within this application tag you have to paste it so i'm gonna paste it here just like control v okay no problem everything is correct then control c and here you have to give the value like control v okay no issues and now what i'm gonna do is to go to this main activity and then close this and go to interstitial implementation guide okay so now the real thing starts okay so let me scroll it and here you can see that this is the code which you have to include within your main activity just copy it and then i'm gonna go back to the android studio and paste it within the main activity class or the activity in which you want to show your ads okay then this whole code you have to copy and then go back to android studio and within the on create method just after the set content view method you have to paste it control v okay then you have to click on sync now as i have to download these libraries and then i will be copying this after that i will go back to the android studio and then will pasting out this okay so now i'm in the android studio as you can see that syncing has done and now i have to press just alt plus enter to include these imports okay then alt plus enter alt plus enter come to every red text and then press alt plus enter okay then import this particular class here you can see that just alt plus enter okay no issues 
and the code which we have uh, copied from somewhere we have to also paste it but before this just apply these double quotes okay and now let me see so here I'm gonna just after this like I'm just checking if I'm have copied that uh, code particularly right or not okay so just copy it again and then gonna paste it just after this control V then alt plus enter alt plus enter okay still there are errors let me see why show so okay so super class error so this is for showing the app ads full screen so you don't need to add this okay then just undo that thing for now and let me see what uh, can be the issue regarding with this still we have errors so just let me undo few things so that uh, I can correct this whole thing okay I have removed everything and then we'll go back here and we'll try to do everything again like this thing I think uh, there might be some issues and I have to resolve them also so just alt plus enter and as we have removed the code previous code so we have to do it again okay so just apply this alt plus enter or comment this log we don't need it for right now and this add id you are seeing it's a so it's a test add id you have to add it of yours that you have uh, taken up within that dialogs okay now i'm just uh, scrolling it but uh, before that uh, let me see if there is any issue now there are no errors and for that uh, i have to just check this whole thing now make some space and we'll come back here just like this and then we'll go to google chrome and then what else code uh, left out will copy that thing okay so just paste it after this okay and again this issue so alt plus enter is the ultimate solution for importing the libraries and these whole things like this alt plus enter to import these things okay and now let me see what else is left out and then I'll be just giving up these things copy this and then paste it here it is a check for checking that particular ad is loaded or not if it is loaded then you must have to show it okay uh, there's a missing of this so I'll be adding the semicolon scrolling it to above okay no issues now what I gonna do is to run this app to test the whole thing okay so let me run it and also you can add that mobile dot initialization when you are using your real IDs okay this is for the test right now so I have to click on the run button so that I can show you the output of this app okay before this I'm gonna tell you some important things like this app ID you are seeing right now it's an ad ID and the app ID is different which is in our manifest file okay so take care about that now the Gradle is building right now we have the test app IDs so there will be a test ad okay 
so gradle after the gradle build finish up the app will be installed and you will be able to see the app on the screen okay so it is installing and it is taking few moments okay so let's wait for it so that we can see the output also and now it's almost done and at yeah it's done now the screen so here it is and you can see that thank you for watching